YouTubers. Uh, just want to say thank you for supporting my non-monetized channel, uh, Dirty D's RC. Um, anyways, this video today, I just wanted to try these tires and wheels out. Um, I've had them for a while, and uh, I just recently cut the little middle lug out of the out of these. I've, this is quite a common mod for this tire. Uh, I found before when they were in is what would happen is if any time I was on a surface like this it would almost be like there were little rails uh, and it would just slide back and forth and it was really annoying and also I think too because um, because of those in there there wasn't enough gap between each tread for it to actually grab onto any kind of edge or anything right so um, another thing that I'm worried about is when I first put these wheels together with these tires uh, I put the foams in there now these tires are made for 110 you know scale trail trucks and a lot of times they can get really heavy so they need a really nice firm tire to stand on but this is a mini so and even though it's considered a pretty heavy for a mini um mini 118 um it's it doesn't really squish the tire down like i would like to create a little bit more of a surface area basically more of a tread pad uh to give more grip anyways um you may have noticed the front lugs have been cut a little different in the back uh, mainly for steering clearance issues and also I found when I ran them before like say you wanted to uh, cling to the side of this rock here to get yourself to dig up um, well the little knobs well they're not really little they're huge knobs that stick out of the side of the tire um, they would you know hit up against the surface but then it would flick flick it out away from the surface so in the front there when you're trying to crawl up you don't want to be bouncing off the very thing that you're trying to grip to so I'm hoping that will do something uh, I'm pretty sure I am gonna have to take these wheels apart which is gonna suck because that's a lot of hardware in there and take the foams out completely like I say these tires are pretty firm probably even on their own so just for a one for a mini I mean I could see on a 110 how they would probably collapse a little nicer with the suspended weight above them but anyways enough said um, Again, thank you. I'm just about to hit 100 subs. Uh, I know for other guys out there, that's not really a big deal, but for me, I just do this to share, and I think it's really cool that uh, I've got this much support. And uh, definitely from some guys with some really cool channels out there, and you know who you are, you're always leaving awesome comments, and willing to talk about RC and and uh, and the rest of the hobby good people to have in the hobby and uh, yeah thank you so uh, anyways I'm gonna shoot a little bit of action video uh, just trying a few obstacles on the course and uh, see if I can get a little more grip out of these tires than they were before yeah, anyway.
Huh. I can stay right there. Looks like I'm getting a lot more grip. I took half the forest floor with me too. A little bit of fall course cleanup, I guess you could say. Well, they definitely work a hell of a lot better than they did before. Uh, stock. Um, they are performing way better. They're still kind of weird to get used to compared to my Chisel Rock Terrains Proline 1.9s, which I can't find a tire that will beat them. But uh, those tires, they are good on firm packed and hard surfaces. As soon as you, uh, as soon as you try to get into some loose material, any dirt, any sand, any fine gravel, with the uh, Proline chisel rock terrains, uh, they don't, they don't do a thing. Um, these guys, I noticed before I cut them, I ran them in the snow, and they are wicked in the snow, uh, but they were terrible any other way. But uh, now it seems I got the lugs cut out. They seem to be gripping a lot better, I would say. I've never usually been able to just crawl up this obstacle. I usually have to wheel ski my way out. Which I had to do there. One thing I am noticing is with those lugs like that, those big nubby lugs, they, they kind of bounce you around a little bit, which is a bit sketchy, but uh, they are gripping, I would say, for sure. try to save that option for the last result, but sometimes you gotta do that. Fucking throttle it out. Fight for it. Give it a battle.
closing, um, I'd have to say for sure, uh, these guys definitely work a lot better than they uh, used to. No more sliding around. Um, I wouldn't say that they're better than my Proline Chisel Rock Trains, which I'm not surprised. I can't literally, like I say, unless you're in loose material, these guys are so forgiving and they do their job. <laughs> Unfortunately, the 1.9 size is discontinued. Proline, if you ever watch this, I'm very upset that <laughs> you discontinued these wheels. Um, however, uh, in attempts to try to save what's left of these wheels, um, I gotta try other things. Uh, I've had these wheels and tires for a while, and I've never really got around to doing it. And then one day I just decided, not too long ago, get her done and try it out. Uh, at least they actually perform now. Um, there was, uh, I mean, it's a lot more challenging. Uh, there is points where it, these knobbies kind of bounce, bounce the truck around a bit, and you got to use a bit more throttle. And sometimes you got to throttle things out a lot more than I normally used to. But uh, it creates a bit more of a challenge, and uh, yeah, it's like driving a sort of a different truck. So I'm happy with that. Anyways, thank you for watching Dirty D's RC, and uh, please like and subscribe, and thank you all those who have supported my channel, and uh, big ups to you guys. Pow!